Hey, what is up guys? My name is Daniel and today I am here with a $250 gaming PC build. Uh, really, this is the lowest budget I would go into and say that it's a gaming PC. I'm doing air quotes here, but you can't see them. Um, you know, if you go into like the $200 range or even lower if you want to do that, then it's, you know, you're not going to get the best performance for gaming. Even, even this PC... You know, it's more for games like League of Legends, um, Dota, obviously, whatever, um, Fez, you know, indie games like that that don't take very much to run, Minecraft, uh, whatever like that. You know, as for games like AAA games like Battlefield and Call of Duty, uh, you can play them, definitely, but it'll be at like Xbox 360 quality, maybe a little bit better, you know, like 720p. A, a stable 30 FPS and like legit 720p, not like upscaled 640p or 640p, is that right? Whatever. Um, so yeah, getting into this, I want the CPU, which is the AMD 5350 2.5 uh, or 2.05 gigahertz quad core processor. It's $50. Uh, this is part of AMD's new Kabini line of um, APUs. It's not nearly as powerful as their Kaveri APUs. Uh, which are more for, you know, AAA, like Battlefield, Call of Duty, whatever, gaming. Um, you know, this is meant more for, like, general computing, you know, for people who don't use their PCs for gaming as much. But it does definitely have a good onboard GPU that you can play games like, like I said, Fez, uh, Dota, League of Legends, maybe a little bit of Counter-Strike at decent settings, you know, whatever like that. But... Uh, this build is not meant for, you know, super high end 1080p gaming. So yeah, moving on to the motherboard, I'm with the Gigabyte GA AM1MS2H Micro ATX AM1 motherboard. This is $36.55. Uh, very budget motherboard from Gigabyte, but again, I do trust Gigabyte. Uh, the only two motherboards that were cheaper than this were only cheaper by like a dollar or two, and they were from Biostar. Biostar's... Eh, uh, it's kind of hit or miss with them, honestly. I've I've heard a lot of bad experiences with their motherboards, so I just went with the Gigabyte one. For the memory, I want the Crucial Ballistic Sport, almost a G skill like I usually do, uh, which is four gigabytes, one stick of four gigabytes, DDR3, 1600 megahertz memory. This is forty dollars and ninety eight cents, which eh, is a decent value. Um, you know, I didn't go with the two sticks of two gigabyte method just because, you know, that'd cost a fair bit more. Uh, although this does give you upgrade room if you want to upgrade to... Actually, I don't know how many RAM slots are on the motherboard we went with. I'll probably put that specification on the screen whenever I talk about the motherboard or when I talk about the RAM or something. You should have seen it already, probably. But, um, yeah, so you do have a little bit of upgrade room with this RAM kit. And yeah, moving on to this storage, only the Western Digital Caviar Blue 1 terabyte 7200 RPM internal hard drive. Right now, this has a $5 mail-in rebate, making it $55.98, which, you know, it's gone up a little bit. It used to be like 45 I think it was 45 for like a week or something. Um, so it has gone back up by like 10 bucks, but still, it is one of the better, if not the best, uh, value you can currently get for a hard drive. You know, there are Seagate hard drives. That you can get, like, I think you can get, uh, right now, like, a Seagate Barracuda 3 terabyte, um, for, like, 30 bucks more than this, and that is also a really good value, but Seagate drives generally just aren't as fast, and they fail a lot quicker, uh, than Western Digital, and even Western Digital isn't the best about failure rates and things like that, so, yeah, moving on to the case, I want the Rosewell FBM-02 Micro ATX Mini Tower case, this has, this has, yes, this has money. This is $28.76 right now. Um, I, I do like this case a lot. It's actually, as of late, it's been cheaper than the uh, Rosewell FBM-01. So this version has been a bit cheaper, so that's cool. Um, yeah, not much more I can say about this case. It's decent. Build quality is not, it's not like a Corsair Obsidian series, obviously. But uh, it definitely gets the job done for the power supply. And with the there's my phone. For the power supply, I'm with the Corsair Builder Series CX430, 430 watt, 80 plus bronze certified ATX power supply. Right now, this has a $20 mail-in rebate. And actually, I didn't realize it, but uh, it's $35, which is pretty expensive. Um, I probably should have changed this before I started this commentary. But yeah, whenever you're watching this video, uh, check the PC part linker. 
PC part linker, PC part picker link in the description. That that is a tongue twister. Uh, check that link, and if the what is it like the CX six hundred or the CX five hundred are cheaper than this, then go for those. Uh, if this is the cheapest when you're watching this video, the uh, CX430, then just stay with that. That was a nice voice crack you got there. Um, so yeah, like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. I post content every three days. I'm going to have to get used to doing that intro. Thanks for watching, and peace.